Welcome to Xinhua Live. I'm Xiu Chen reporting from Jiu Zhaigou in southwest China, Sichuan province. A 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck the county of Jiu Zhaigou Tuesday night. So far, 20 people died and more than 400 people were injured. Rescue efforts, both at the government level and at the grassroots level, have been extreme. The quick measuring 7.0 on the Richter scale hit Jiu Zhaigou County at 9.19 p.m. Tuesday. The, the epicenter was recorded at a depth of 20 kilometers below the township of Zhang Zha. Jiu Zhaigou is a popular tourist destination in the mountains on the eastern edge of Qinghai Tibet Plateau. It is part of the Tibetan and the Qiang Autonomous Prefecture of Aba and is known for its ethnic minority communities. The Jiu Zhaigou Nature Reserve covers 720 square kilometers and includes plateaus, lakes, waterfalls, and mountains. It has been open to tourists since 1984 and has seen visitor numbers rise each year. When the quick hit, tens of thousands of tourists were in Zhang Zha, according to the disaster relief headquarters. But uh, authorities have uh, denied the claims that Burial Lakes has formed at uh, two popular tourist area. They said uh, it remains too early to tell the full scale of damage. China has experienced the devastating nature disasters in recent years and uh, its rescue services have become extremely well prepared. We can see some rescue tents have been set here. Rescue operations are now in full swing. A wide range of uh, state units have been mobilized, including disaster relief, police, firefighters, armed forces, geologists, medical staff, infrastructure, maintenance teams, transport authorities, and uh, fuel suppliers. Rescue dog, life detectors, drones, and uh, laser sensors are among the equipment being used. Rescue team are moved at times on foot to reach every village in the quick zone. Apart from the rescue efforts, media reports says a uh, research institute in Chengdu, the uh, capital city of Sichuan province, and gave a warning 71 um, seconds before the earthquake struck. Now, we will cross over to the research early warning institute in Chengdu and uh, speak to the 
person who made the decision to send the notification. Hello everyone, I'm Liu Hai, Xinhua News Agency. I'm in Chengdu, capital of Sichuan province. Now we are joined by Dr. Pro Wang, the director of Institute of Care Life. So, Dr. Wang, the 7.0 magnitude earthquake struck Jiu Zaigou in Sichuan province on Tuesday. Some media reported Youth Institute 64 gave early warning alarm for the resident in Chengdu. 71 seconds before the earthquake came. So it is true? Yes, this uh, earthquake of 7.0 magnitude is early warning. And many people the, and the many public have actually received the alerts. Um, and for example, the people in Wenchuan County, Beichuan, and Maoxian uh, County received the alerts using the television. And also some people from Chengdu get 71 seconds of early warning uh, using uh, the cell phones and or some loudspeakers. How did you send the warning to people in Chengdu? Uh, in Chengdu, the people uh, received the alerts using cell phones and uh, some uh, loudspeakers in the uh, software uh, park. Uh, and also for some other loudspeakers in the uh, buildings. What was the response from users that received the warning? Some people get evacuation, uh, evacuated right away, and then some people uh, were wondering what's going on. And of course, with some more education, I think they should respond better. However, the system itself responds perfectly. And uh, some people actually uh, expressed the appreciations to our institute because we gave them con uh, um, a good chance to evacuate. How does earthquake early warning work? Um, the earthquake early warning system actually uh, will give you countdown of seconds in case of earthquake. How, did they, how, did, how could the system uh, give you such alert? Because we have deployed uh, EW sensors, earthquake early warning sensors, in Jiu Zaigou and some other places in China, so that it can detect the earthquakes right away uh, using the user uh, using the sensors near the epicenter, and then these sensors can send the uh, signals to the EW center, and then from the EW center it is send out the alerts, and then the receivers. Uh, and the loudspeakers can give the public or users the countdown of seconds before the S wave of the second uh, of the seismic wave to or before it comes, it, it gives you the alerts. How could you detect the earthquake is coming? Um, well, the sensors near the epicenter will detect the motion of the ground right away, I mean, in, second, in one or two seconds. Within, uh, and then the internet is used to transfer, uh, to communicate the, this kind of information to the EEW center, and then the public will get the information from the EEW center right away. When did you find out that there would be a quick? Um, well, it's the early warning system that detects the uh, Says me, uh, the quick. Uh, it's not the institute itself, but it's the earthquake early warning system. And as I said just now, it's the uh, sensors detect the uh, seismic wave right away within seconds. And actually, the total system, the whole system, responds to the earthquake in six seconds or so. So it actually responds very quickly and automatically. How long did it take you to send out the warning notifications? After the early warning center decides that uh, the, there is an earthquake, it takes about one to two seconds, one second or so to send out the information out to all the public, uh, to all the users. How does earthquake early warning work? The earthquake early warning uh, works like this. Let me demonstrate it for you. 
okay, this is the uh, earthquake early warning receiver. Well, let's see how it is responds to earthquake. Let me demonstrate. Now, then this actually uh, illustrate how the receiver uh, responds to the geozygo earthquake at that time. And you can see the expanding of the S wave uh, to uh, the expanding of this wave, and you can see the different countdown time. This tells you how much time for uh, you have for different cities. Uh, so, like you have 26 seconds for Mianyang and uh, 23 seconds for Guangyuan, and so on. And also, you can see how much intensity you have. Uh, the, how this intensity tells you. Uh, the uh, how strong the shake w would be. So this is actually how the public uh, or receivers or users to uh, receive the signals. Okay, this kind of, when you hear this kind of sound, you should respond right away. Okay, so this is a example how the system work. Okay, what did we do earthquake early warning? Where would people did it? Okay, so. The, so the, the system actually, um, I mean, all the public, all the engineering should use the uh, earthquake early warning system. For example, I will tell you another uh, example. This is from the Wenchuan television. I mean, the public from the Wenchuan county can, uh, did receive these alerts when the Jiuzaigo earthquake occurred because People did receive this alert at that time. This, this, this of course, is a uh, capture of the alerts. Let me demonstrate it for you. This is a normal television. And then when the Jiuzaigo earthquake occurred, it responds like this. It tells you that it, has, it had 24 seconds, and now it has a countdown, and with the sound alerts as well. And the Wenchuan would have a strong shake, then that, that, that's what's the case. Of course, this kind of alerts should be sent to all the public, all the engineering, so that it can reduce the clarity and reduce secondary disasters caused by, possibly caused by the earthquake. Okay, to, re, to realize this, actually, you, we have deployed this kind of sensors represented as the blue dots, a green dots. So this is the epicenter in this case. So these are the sensors in Jiuzaigo. And you can see this, this is the nearest sensor. When the sensor is installed, it's like this. So this is actually the sensor that we actually uh, installed in Jiuzaigo and many other places. These sensors did send the early warning alerts and the signals to the earthquake early warning center. This center will analyze the data and then send out the countdown signal alerts to the public as I have just shown you. In what ways did the early warning help in the case of Juzago? Well, as I uh, just uh, demonstrate, the, uh, the people in Wenchuan, Beichuan, and Maoxian received the television alerts. And the other public used their cell phones to receive the alerts. And uh, some people in the uh, buildings used the loudspeakers to receive the uh, alerts, and so on. So, and also, these early warning signals were transmitted to the uh, Chengdu subways, Xi'an subways, and some nuclear power stations, and uh, some chemical, chemical factories. These are, this, they received the signals, however, the threshold is not reached yet. So they did not have the alerts, but if the intensity, the intensity of the alert, of the earthquake is bigger than the threshold, then they, they, their um, production line would be affected and controlled by the early warning system. Okay. Which country have more advanced earthquake early warning system? In terms of technology, China now has the most advanced technology in the world. We say this in two aspects. One, the response time of the early warning system in China is the first in the world. And the second, the uh, reliability is the highest in the world as well. Because during the last six years, there was no false alert uh, from this system. 
That's these are the advantages of the Chinese early warning system. However, the number of users in Japan is much bigger than that in China. So, because they had, they usually have more earthquakes, and also they paid more attention to the earthquake early warning system by the government as well. So, in this aspect, we should learn that from Japan, and the world should collaborate together to move forward and to protect more countries with this earthquake early warning system. We are willing to work with other countries on this, for, for, and for their people. How accurate are the earthquake early warning in general? Are there any other six for examples? In terms of the uh, earthquake early warning system, and based on our technology, then we actually had no false alerts. So false alerts, and uh, uh, we didn't have the false alerts. But this is unique in the world, uh, as I as I compare it right now, because we know that Mexico and Japan also have earthquake uh, early warning system. However, their system actually had uh, uh, false alerts. I think we would like to work with them to improve uh, their technology as well. And uh, so, but for us, we still need to improve the system as well. Let me demonstrate this map for you. This map actually shows the distribution of the sensors in China and uh, Nepal. And actually, these two countries have their in, uh, early warning system interconnected. And this is the uh, inter international early warning system uh, of the first one in the world. So uh, this is the case, OK? How far has China gone in this field? Well, in terms of technology, we have gone through a long way. We, had the, we have developed this technology uh, during the last nine years based on the technology that have been uh, developed from China, also administration, and from other countries as well. However, uh, we fulfilled and we succeeded to develop the whole technology, this one. And we, de uh, we set up the whole network of sensors. And we have uh, this system have alert, uh, have been triggered by 38 destructive earthquakes destructive earthquakes and many people have used this however the number of users is not enough yet which the system should serve the whole country instead of only the limited number of users yet what's the difference between earthquake warning and earthquake forecasting well the uh, earthquake early warning uh, is uh, based on the uh, when, when the earthquake early warning works, the earthquakes already occurs. It already causes the vibration or, or shaking of, of the epicenter area. However, at this moment, the seismic wave has not propagated too much. But anyway, the earthquake uh, in the epicenter area already occurs and the shaking already happened. This should be compared with the earthquake prediction. Earthquake prediction means that earthquake has not occurred even in the epicenter. Uh, however, earthquake forecast or prediction and the technology for the prediction of the earthquake has not been there yet in the whole world. Scientists, including us, are still developing the technology for earthquake prediction. However, this, there is still a way, long way to go. What's the ultimate goal of earthquake early warning? The goal, ultimate goal of earthquake early warning is to trigger the response of the whole society in case of an earthquake. Okay, so in, the, in case of earthquake, people do not need to respond to the, uh, uh, the quake. Of the, but from uh, caused by and we some say no.